What's up guys? It's your girl Brittany, of course, and I'm back with another video. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys today. I don't know if y'all heard of the famous New Orleans bitch called Yakame Yakame. Yakame. I don't know if I'm saying it right, because the way I say it is Yakame. Yakame, Yakame. Like you want some Yakame? Spell Y A K A. M E I N, I want to say. So it's like Maine. It's a very popular dish in New Orleans. It is originated in New Orleans. Kind of like a, um, it's like a, I don't know how to describe it because you use soy sauce and everything like that. So it's kind of like a Chinese dish too. I want to show y'all how to make it because it is literally like one of my favorites. When I say favorites, that's an understatement. It is like one of my favorite things to make and to eat. I'm not gonna say make, cause honestly y'all, I don't really like cooking. <laughs> I enjoy cooking more so when I'm trying something different, trying something new that I've never done before. That's when I enjoy cooking the most. Y'all, I'm sorry for this lightning. Um, the lights in our kitchen is kind of going out, like two of the lights out, so it's really dim up in here, but this is this is what I got to work with right now. So, no, hey. I look kind of rough, y'all. I did curl my hair today, but it has been raining and I was out trying to get my phone fixed earlier, so I got stuck in the rain. So, excuse my frizzy hair. I'm going to show y'all how to make it, and it is literally the easiest thing to make, and it's so freaking good. Okay, so you are one of those people who like to make things that are quick, easy, but tasteful, then you will want to know how to make this. So, stay tuned. It's busting. I'm gonna show y'all how I make mine. This is the way my mama taught me how to make my yakami. You know, everybody different. Everybody probably make theirs a little bit different. That's the way I chose to make mine. So yeah, let me show y'all. Okay, so this is pretty much everything that you are going to need. Um, So here we have some stew meat. I like to use stew meat cause it just, I like it better. It tastes better to me. Use stew meat and um shrimp. I would advise y'all to get some real shrimp from like Fiesta somewhere. Fiesta was closed already and we was already in Kroger, so I just picked up this little raw bag of shrimp. I'm gonna use that, it'll do. I already got my eggs boiling in a pot, so you definitely gonna need some eggs. I like brown eggs, I don't know about y'all, y'all use what you like. You're gonna need some celery, some green onions, a regular onion. Girl, Kroger's ain't have no good onions. This is literally the cutest one they had. And honestly, as far as season go, you're not gonna need a lot of season because the soy sauce is gonna already give it some season. I had went ahead and brought another soy sauce because I had this one already, but just in case I needed more, I got this one. It actually has less sodium in it, so that's probably good. And for seasoning, I'm gonna use some Creole season. Slap your mama, of course, for some spice. But like I said, you don't wanna use too much seasoning because the soy sauce has a lot of salt in it, so you do not need a lot of seasoning and get ready to cut these up and I will be back after I cut up my veggies. Okay guys, so as you can see, I went ahead and put the meat in a pot. So once you have your meat in the pot, you're gonna wanna fill it up with water like right above the meat. You don't wanna do it too much water because remember we still gotta add the soy sauce. And this is gonna be kind of like the juice of the yakami. I went ahead and cut up some um, onion. Here's my celery here. I don't wanna cut up in big pieces because this is just for like seasoning in the yakami. And it doesn't, you know, it don't have to be in small little fine pieces because I don't know, my mama never told me to put mine in fine pieces, so I never did. But this gonna break up like that. So once that be in, in the food, it's gonna be all broken up. And here is some green onions, but the green onions is more so for when we done. So we're not gonna even worry about that. We about to put these two inside with the meat. And that is half of an onion. That was half. And some celery. This is about five pieces of celery sticks because I like a lot of celery. I'm gonna give it a little, little dizzle. I don't put no top on it. Um, I just kind of let it cook on its own. And I'm about to add in my seasoning. Okay guys, so I went ahead and added my seasoning. I did it off of camera because y'all, I'm trying to do this um, and do a TikTok at the same time. So I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I can't tell y'all exact measurements because I kind of just, you know, did what I had to do. But that is, again, some Slap Your Mama and some Creole season, and that is it. Because y'all don't want it to be too, too salty. It's just about done. Okay, so y'all see that little stuff that kind of get like the fat from the meat? Um, once it starts cooking, I just kind of scoop that up and I take it off. I don't like 
it. I don't even like how it look, honestly. <laughs> so I try to get as much of that off the topping as I can. As you can see, I'm just kind of dabbing in and scooping up little by little, like fat fluid on top. So we're gonna get rid of all that. Okay, so it's getting there. Let's see, it's starting to smoke up a little bit. The meat is starting to be cooked. You can't really see it because it's so smoky. But this is just getting the meat cooked. You want to get that meat all cooked up and a good old seasoning. Yes, baby. Okay, so now the meat is finally cooked. Go ahead and add in that soy sauce. Y'all, my pot not dirty. That's, that's from my cooking, the meat and stuff like that. I'm going to start off adding just this half a bottle that I already had open. I'm going to just add the whole thing in now. And um, have that uh, soy sauce flavor in them. So just go ahead and add that. Don't be afraid to add that whole little thing in now. It's a half a bottle um, of a huge bottle of soy sauce. So yeah. I had already used half from last time I made some, so I'm just using the other half. I don't know why I bought that, I don't know what I, just in case, I guess. Because I wasn't sure if I had soy sauce at home. So let me just pick up some, just in case, you know? Okay, stir it in, and at this point, you will want to taste it to see if you need to add more soy sauce or any more seasoning or whatever. So last thing, you go ahead and add your shrimp. Now this is completely optional. Some people don't like shrimp in the yakabi, um, but I do. So add that shrimp in that baby. <laughs> and the last little bit. I wish I would've got two packs of shrimp, but we're gonna make it do what it do. And let's stir that in. Y'all know shrimp don't take long at all. Turn that shrimp in. Oh my God, look at that. Ready? Oh my gosh, y'all, I am the absolute worst. Y'all should have been already barreling y'all noodles first. That's like one of the first things you should have did, but your girl forgot, so I'm gonna get ready to do that now. I add a little bit of oil to my noodles so they don't stick. I got that from another girl on YouTube, actually. But yeah, y'all might want to try it. <laughs> but look at this food right now, y'all. It looks so good. Letting it simmer down. Those shrimp is just done already. I didn't tell y'all, but I cooked this on um a, like kind of a um so I cooked it like on number eight, um, which is close to high. But once I put the shrimp in, as you can see, I took it down to medium, and now I'm gonna just put it at a very low simmer because the once that shrimp cook, it's pretty much done. Oh yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Okay, so everything is pretty much done. We got our new starter. Uh, little yeah, it's ready. I'm gonna show y'all it all this stuff. Okay, guys, so as you can see, this is the final product. Oh my gosh, y'all, please excuse my eggs. I guess I overcooked them, bad boy. So when I went to peeling them, they was not looking cute at all. But you know, hey, we're gonna eat them things the same way, so it doesn't really matter. But oh my god, as y'all can see, y'all can see the good old meat that onions that celery and them green onions to top it off the noodles is a little bit under that so you gotta dig in that to get it but this is so good y'all this is like the easiest quickest meal to make okay guys it's time to taste it mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. oh my god that is my favorite. It's so good and it's so easy. Mm. Mm. Try it. Please try it. I personally just feel like everybody in their life needs to experience tasting that wonderfulness because oh my God, it's wonderful. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Tell me what y'all think about it. Um, If I did something wrong or if y'all do something different, you know, if you know how to make y'all come in, you did something different, that probably would be better than what I did. Leave your girl a comment. If you tried this, please y'all leave a comment and let me know how good it was because it's going to be good. Yeah. Guys, enjoy it. Go ahead and give your girls a huge thumb up. Don't forget to comment and let me know if you did try it. Let me know if it looked good, y'all. Let me know if I did something wrong. Y'all just let me know. I love the tips, okay?
not forget to subscribe subscribe to your girl's channel and please don't forget to turn on my post notifications as well so you can be alerted i'm about to go eat because i had to stop eating to come talk to y'all so i'm gonna go finish my food and i will be seeing you guys next time much love much love